In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we uh, celebrate the Eve of All Saints, All Hallows Eve, uh, let us ask for their prayers as we call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant we pray that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion in mercy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, with the same love, uni united in heart, thinking one thing. Do nothing out of selfishness, or out of vainglory, rather humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interest, but also everyone for those of others. The word of the Lord. The responsorial. In you, O Lord, I found my peace. In you, O Lord, I found my peace. O Lord, my heart is not proud nor are my eyes haughty. I busy not myself with great things, nor with things too sublime for me. In you, O Lord, I have my peace. Nay, brother, I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weaned child, like a weaned child on its mother's lap. So it is my soul within me. In you, O Lord, O oh Israel, I hope in the Lord, both now and forever. In you, Lord, I have peace. He said to the host who invited him, When you hold a lunch or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers or sisters or your relatives or your wealthy neighbors. 
in case they may invite you back and you have repayment. Rather, when you hold a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind. Blessed indeed will you be because of their inability to repay you. For you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. The Gospel of the Lord. You probably all know that the word Halloween comes from, is borrowed from our Feast of All Saints. It's actually two words, Halloween, Hallows, and Eve. So it's just the, the evening before the Feast of All Saints. So many of our uh, feasts and celebrations that are secular have come from uh, the Catholic religion and our celebration. For example, Ash Wednesday and Mardi Gras. People really don't know what Mardi Gras is all about. They just have a big party. But it simply means in, Latin, in French, Fat Tuesday, which is kind of, you know, fatten yourself up before 40 days of fasting, which begins on Ash Wednesday. But many people have forgotten that. And uh, it's interesting to listen to the radio sometimes you detect a kind of double standard when it comes to the supernatural. And it kind of gets highlighted during these times like Halloween. What do I mean? Well, the supernatural on the one hand is given great credibility. When people talk about ghosts and, uh, you know, things that they can't explain, they just believe it without any kind of proof whatsoever. But when it comes to the supernatural, which is our faith, the Eucharist, the grace of the sacraments, the intercession of the Blessed Mother and the saints, people want great scientific proof for that. <laughs> I was listening to the radio driving back from Northwest Arkansas last week, and they were talking about supernatural things that happen. And this lady called in and said that she lived in a haunted house for many years. And she explained what she meant by this haunted house. She said, we didn't know it at the time, but when we bought the house, the previous owners had this kind of built-in swimming pool in, in their house. And what had happened was three children from the family uh, had drowned in that pool, had died there. And so they sold the house, and then this lady who bought the house didn't know that these three children, these three small children, had died in that swimming pool. And then she said that over the years, she lived in that house about 15 years, and that over the years, uh, they would hear noises in the house. See, I can even tell by how much you're paying attention to me, how interesting this is to you, and that you believe this. So uh, at any rate, she went on and said that one day she walked in and her small toddler there was uh, talking to someone. And there was no one else in the room. And she, he, she asked him, well, who are you talking to? And he said, well, the little boy in the floor. And uh, she said, what little boy in the floor? She said, he said, that little boy right there. I talked to him sometimes. And he talks back and has a nice little conversation. And that woman was convinced that all of that was absolutely true. <laughs> that there is no doubt whatsoever. And of course, the radio announcer that was kind of interviewing this person was also fully convinced that this was true, that they indeed had this ghost of this little boy trapped in the floor of this haunted house. Do you see the double standard? There's no doubt whatsoever when it comes to these supernatural things, ghosts, noises in the house, haunted houses. We believe it. Without question, we would laugh at someone who didn't believe such things. 
On the other hand, if you try to tell someone about Mass and the Eucharist and adoration and the Rosary and the intercession of the saints and miracles, they would laugh in your face. That is how the supernatural has been sort of given a double standard. My point in saying all this is that, you know, this is the time when that double standard gets kind of highlighted in neon. <laughs> and if we are people of faith, we should be able to notice that. That is why the responsorial psalm is very pertinent for today. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. Where do we look for peace when we deal with the supernatural? Look for it in Jesus. Praise be Jesus Christ. Please stand. We come before Jesus as people of faith, and we put our faith in Him and ask Him to hear and answer our prayers. We pray for the church that this All Hallows Eve might be a time of putting our trust in the intercession of the saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are too easily believing in the supernatural things of this world and yet hesitate to believe in the supernatural things of Christ and the Church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our country, for all leaders, that they will lead their communities to a greater love of the poor. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of our private intentions. In this Mass, praying especially for Francisca Garcia and Leopoldo Melendez and for Bertine Roselle. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. 
holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And we may always find in Jesus our peace when things go bump in the night. Let us pray as he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.